Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. A bunch of YouTubers, including Mr. Beast and Mark Rober, have come together for a mammoth mission. They're trying to plant 20 million trees by 2020, and the internet's going wild for it. It all started with this guy, Mr. Beast. He's a YouTuber who makes challenge videos with big rewards. When he hit 20 million subs on YouTube, his fans recommended a challenge to celebrate. You guys spammed me to plant 20 million trees on Twitter, Reddit, all over my comment section, so I made it happen. He's enlisted the help of other YouTubers too. And now heaps of them are posting vids and jumping on board the tree planting party. Ding, ding, ding. Noises, it's announcement time! We're calling it Team Trees, and we went through a bunch of different options on how to pull this off, and eventually settled on working with the Arbor Day Foundation. And we made a deal with them that for every dollar we give them, they would plant one tree. Even Chandler can do it. Another one. Another one. Yep. And another one. Mr. Beast organized a big planting day with a bunch of fans, who together planted thousands of trees. And he donated 100,000 bucks to the cause. In the first 48 hours of the Team Trees website going live, they've already raised more than five mil of their $20 million goal. And a lot of people are super excited about the project. Not all the responses have been positive, but Mr. Beast is standing by the idea and it just keeps growing. Hundreds of people got together for a ceremony to mark the official end of climbing Uluru. It was a celebration for Ananyu people who have wanted the site closed for a long time. The event included some awesome performances. A long lost painting found hanging in a French woman's kitchen has sold at auction for a record breaking $40 million. It's by an Italian artist called Cimabue from the 13th century and was discovered just a month ago. It's called Christ Mocked and was only expected to fetch a measly 10 mil. David Warner's made his first ever international T20 century. We've got that and more for you in sport. The Aussies have thrashed Sri Lanka, winning by 134 runs, and Warner made his first ever T20 international century on the very last ball of the innings. His first in international T20 cricket. It was a massive total for the Aussies, 233, their best yet on home soil. England will take on South Africa in the final of the Rugby World Cup. It's a bit of a surprise matchup, with New Zealand the clear favourites going into the semis. But England came away with the win. Back home now, and Victorian soccer fans have smashed a world record for the most people taking part in a soccer lesson at a single venue. They beat the previous record of 705, with a whopping 835. The annual pig race was held in Hobart over the weekend. These little trotters are just seven weeks old and they started racing about two weeks ago. I just make sure they can run through a barrel, a tyre and a ramp and the rest of it's on the job training. Pink piglet Eloise took out the top prize. That's a significant achievement if I've ever seen one. And now it's time to celebrate the sizeable, the jumbo, the whopper, the titanic, the towering, the epic because these next stories are kind of a big deal. Actually, let's upsize that. These next stories are kind of a very big deal. Would you fancy a photo with what might be the biggest cow in the world? Well, nearly 3,000 people apparently did. They went to see Nickers, the nearly two metre tall, almost 1,400 kilo cow at an agricultural show in WA. Nickers became a bit of an internet sensation last year for being, well, very, very large. And the largest cow in the world lives in Australia. Yeah, she's pretty stoked that the largest cow in the world lives in Australia. <laughs> What's more epic than being slimed? Well, running through a big lake of slime, apparently. This is a museum in New York devoted purely to slime and all of its sticky, gooey goodness. And meet Cinderblock, the rather large cat that's been trying to shed a few kilos on this water treadmill with the help of her vet. Well, trying is probably the wrong word. Oh, good girl. Cinderblock has really put in the hard yards since that video, though. She's now actually using all four paws to work out. You go, girl. 
Well, that's all the news for now. But if you want to see more big things like Cinderblock or Knickers or that slime museum in the future, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. You can also give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, which we hope you did.